I had a neat situation happen in a recent mission that I thought I'd single out to make a short tactical or instructional video of. This is a somewhat experimental video concept, so if you like it, please let me know in the comments. Alright, on to the mission. In this, I'm a medium machine gun team leader on Op 4, with our objective being to attack a town defended by an enemy squad. Our initial position was on a hill outside of town, and after a while of seeing nothing, we moved in and took position on a large rooftop overlooking some terrain a friendly squad would soon be moving into. Alpha Squad is approaching the town from the north, with Bravo coming from the south. As Alpha is moving through the town, they run into some contact. It's hard for my team's position to see any of this or get a feel for what's happening, though we do see an enemy duck into a tavern far away. Our uniforms are similar enough that I don't feel comfortable shooting without positive ID, so I hold off on engaging this guy. With no far targets to engage, I shift forward to observe the area closer to us. I'm worried that the tactics being used by the enemy are going to negate our machine gun. In the back of my mind, I'm trying to think of how or where we could move, where we might be more effective. You can see Alpha moving into her field of view, coming from the upper right, when suddenly... There are a lot of things that happen there, so let's review it in detail. The building to my front left is open on the far side. The friendly fire team that moved into that area, for whatever reason, considered it clear and wasn't watching the entrance. Now here's an interesting observation that I didn't even catch until I was editing this. If you look to my left at the building, you'll know that you can see them moving around inside there before they show up. As far as I can remember, and based on the footage, I think I was focusing on the tavern at the upper part of the screen, and the constant texture shimmer and the rubble at the base of that building made it hard for me to realize that I was actually seeing movement in the windows. In any case, I didn't notice it in time. The Blue Force soldier that walked out of it was able to surprise, shoot, and kill the friendly as I attempted to sight on him and deploy the machine gun. After dropping him, a second Blue Force exited the building and was engaged successfully. This is a good lesson in all-around security. In a perfect world, the fire team on front would have been covering the Silver Building's entrance and could have killed the Blue Force before they'd managed to inflict any casualties. My machine gun team's presence on the roof nearby was mostly luck. The fact that we were there, and I had to engage the way I did, helps to illustrate a more subtle concern when fighting in urban environments, or firing in the general direction of friendlies. It's also a great example of being forced to choose between the lesser of two evils. In that prior engagement, did you notice the tracers? Let's watch it again. Look at the tracers as they ricochet off the ground and zip past my target. Keep in mind that for every tracer you see, there are from two to four bullets you don't see, depending on the tracer mix. It's a lot of lead flying through the air. Look at that one. That could have seriously wounded or killed one of those two fire team members by the house. I mean, it looks like it almost, almost gets them. It didn't, but it could have. Ultimately, it was a risk that had to be taken. It's always better, though, to just do all around security, such so you don't have to be saved by a different element when something shows up that was in your sector responsibility in the first place. Alright, you've just seen me put additional bursts in the down blue four to ensure they're really dead. What would you do now? With what you just saw, what's the situation? And what conclusions can you draw from it? Are there any actions that should follow this? Take a second think about it. Pause if you'd like. Just remember that the decision that needs to be made now is one that you'll only have a moment of game time to figure out. Let's watch and see what I did, and I'll explain why next. So why did I start dumping rounds in this building? Well, after seeing two people come out of it, it's pretty reasonable to assume that there might be more. It is a big building after all. With a bullet as heavy as what my PKM fires, and knowing that the walls are made of sheet metal, I knew I'd have a chance of hitting someone in the building if I just poured some fire into it. Generally speaking, being suppressed by enemy fire when you're hidden behind something that'll stop bullets, that's one thing. It sucks, but you're momentarily safe. Being engaged through a wall by a machine gun, on the other hand, is panic inducing. People make bad decisions when they're panicked. It forces their hand before they're ready. This suppressing fire seems to have flushed Blue Four out of the far side of the building. The guy took some shots at my team, luckily for us he missed, and then he ate a burst of PKM. APOC, on my left, drilled someone who was on the near side of the building in the entryway while this was happening. So that's the end of the engagement. What's the takeaway from this? Well, there's a few of them. The first is that when you're moving in an urban environment, 360 degree security must be maintained at all times to the best of your ability. It isn't easy, and sometimes mistakes happen, but you need to work on it constantly. The situation turned out the way it did because the Blue Four troops simply didn't realize that their route of attack was overwatched by a machine gun. The second lesson is about risk. 
What I did in engaging these targets with friendlies in the ricochet hazard zone was dangerous. It could have caused casualties or deaths. However, letting the enemy catch them unawares was obviously more dangerous. It would have definitely caused casualties and further deaths. Being able to assess your options and quickly choose the lesser of two evils for the right reasons is an important decision making skill to have. The final lesson is on the merits of shooting through light materials to spook or flush the enemy. You could call it probing fire or reconnaissance by fire, but the point's the same. It shakes the enemy up and encourages them to make hasty and hopefully bad decisions. It's not the first time I've seen such a tactic work, but it is the best example I have on film of it. So there you have it. A few things to think on next time you're in a situation like this. To wrap this up, let's take a look at the whole sequence start to finish at normal speed. If you like this style of video, let me know in the comments. Until next time, take care. God damn, I was just barely not fast enough to save that dude.